I'm Red. I've only ever had one job. I lied to you, the title is a lie. This is summer camp stories because I worked at a summer camp. My bad. Anyway, I'm a camp counselor at the summer camp. The only reason I got this job at my age is because my stepdad is the owner of the summer camp. So, yay. Since he is the owner of the summer camp, I also get to work at the snack cart because they don't trust anybody else not to steal the money, lol. Yep, this is what we're talking about today, camp. So before I worked at the summer camp, I actually went there for like a few years. I started going to the summer camp before my stepdad was even my stepdad. I know, crazy. Anyway, whenever I aged out of it, I started working there because I had nothing else to do. Now, another one of the camp counselors was a girl my age. That happened to be in my fifth grade class. And I was mad at her because she was about to say a secret out loud. Who could ever let that happen? And with my metal water bottle, I picked it up and threw it at her face. I'm not lying, that actually happened. I didn't get in trouble or fired, surprisingly. Ugh, the memories. Okay, this next story was at the snack cart. Some kid came up and asked me for a free snack. I said no. A few minutes later, one of his friends comes up to me and he says that the guy that asked me for a free snack called me the B word. I don't curse on this channel in case a young person's watching, but these kids were six years old. Six. I actually lied. One time I worked as an art teacher, but nothing interesting happened. So we're just gonna skip that. Another time that same exact year, I started a great thing called Ultimate Jenga. Now at our summer camp, we have three boxes of Jenga blocks. So three games can be played at the same time. But I didn't want that. I put all three Jenga blocks into one Jenga tower. The game lasted the entire time, which is 30 minutes, but it was grand. I also had to put all of the Jenga blocks on the top because the six year old couldn't reach it. <laughs> the next story takes place in the game room. Now this room, we had Wii Sports. I love the bowling game in Wii Sports, and I'm pretty good at it. I mean, compared to the six-year-olds, I was flaming. This might not sound like a big achievement, but I'm terrible at video games, so just give this to me. So I was playing against this really rude kid. He was like the one that called me the B-word, and I bet him to a game of bowling. And the entire game, I just got strikes. We were playing like champions. We were great. I was better, though. If we were playing baseball, I probably still would have gotten all strikes. I'm sorry, that pun sucked. Can we like cut that out? <clears throat> Forgive me. Anyway, I beat the six year old at bowling. Go me. In this game room, we also had a golfing simulator. So you would hit the club and it would calculate how you would have hit the ball. It's really fun, but we had a slight accident one day when my stepdad wasn't in the room, another one of the camp counselors decided to play the golfing simulator. Now he did, but he ended up letting go of the club. The golfing club was in the air. It was almost as if it was in slow motion. It was beautiful. And then it strikes into the wall. Right about to hit a kid's head. But it didn't. Everybody's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. Moving on from that one time whenever i was getting a snow cone i don't remember why but i ended up accidentally saying the h word i know it's not considered a bad word just be quiet the thing is i said this right in front of my sister and my third grade teacher oh it's so embarrassing i'm gonna bury myself in a hole ah! by the way a lot of my old videos were actually filmed while i was working here including my face reveal now that's the end of my stories because most of the time I just ended up sitting there drinking boba. But it was fun and I'm doing it next year so maybe I'll have a part two. I'll see y'all next time. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Bye!